Hey, this is Tor from TC here in London at Raw Power Management, and we're here with uh, Jonah from awesome band Bring the Horizon. G'day, how are you going? So, uh, we're going to do a talk print today. I hope so, yeah. Let's and um, we've been talking a little bit before the camera started rolling, and you know, apart from doing crazy metal stuff, you guys do a lot of like um, octave stuff and, and riffing where you use some effects that maybe you typically wouldn't even use in a, in a metal band. Like That's right, yeah. I mean, we, we're we both, uh, both Lee and I are pretty heavily into a lot of reverb and delayed sounds yep. for both um, like our heavy and our lead channels as well as some clean stuff that you can hear in some of our songs. Yep. So we are... Uh, we kind of have a, a, a pretty unique sound, I think. Yeah, and, uh, definitely. Hopefully that's what we're yeah. going to try and get across for you guys. Yeah. So what type of reverb would you typically go for? Uh, is it like a big one or a small one? And uh, We have some subtle differences from song to song, yeah. but I, I'd say generally um, we're big fans of the whole sort of reverb, sa yeah. like reverb sound. Um, fairly long delay um, and a lot of the effect sound, especially yeah. for, the, for the lead kind of stuff, it's... We like to, to have a sound that's sort of, um, you can't really hear the individual notes and picking. It's almost more like a, a synth kind of yeah, sound. Yeah, something eerie going on. So yeah, you know, you can you can hit a note two or three times and you won't actually hear the attack of the note, but you'll hear just this big reverb sound yeah. come in. Um, and that's kind of, that's what we go for, especially cool. with the lead stuff. Yeah. Let's see if we can dial something in. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Hangs on for a little longer yeah. than what we normally use, but I like the the tail the big, of it. Yeah. yeah, the big sound. Yeah. The way I normally play with my reverb, it's yeah. it's pretty out there, and there's a lot of it going on. But um, but the drive. You still want to hear what I'm playing. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? exactly. Sort of over the top, but that's yeah. exactly what, what we're going for. Yeah, it's not the uh, it's not your typical spring reverb for a no, blues band. No, it's not it's subtle at all. <laughs> it's like that's cool. Right in your face. So magically, like TV kitchen style, we've been doing hours of tweaking. Oh, it back. took us forever. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, seriously, we were spending some time on actually doubting this, and one of the things you mentioned um, uh, while talking and doing this was that a lot of the reverbs you tried wouldn't allow you to go far enough. And yeah, all the ones I've got are, are a little bit too limited, and I I really like that sort of long, drawn out, yeah. you know, cathedral reverb kind yeah. of sound, and none of the pedals I've got would allow me to do mm. that to the extent where I wanted to, yeah. if, if I want to get to that. Because, I mean, what you dial in here is not what you'd call like the polite bluesy, subtle, no, spring it's, reverb sound. It's definitely yeah. big and it's in your face yeah. and that's exactly yeah. what I was going for. Well, um, can we hear a little bit of, of playing? Yeah. And by the way, we should probably come up, or you should come up with a name for it as well. All right, well, I've been playing um, my lead from the song Anthem. Yeah. Um, and I think that kind of is almost a pretty cool name for a, a big cathedral sounding kind of reverb. That's definitely a cool name for that. The it's Anthem Reverb. Fitting, yeah. Brilliant. So, uh, this is it. And it goes on and on and on. <laughs> it is. Cool. Thanks. Thank you.